welcome back to tech tips we haven't done a tech tip in a long time and i think we should do uh, some i have ideas for a couple today someone challenged me to generate parent id and attach ids in excel which i thought was kind of a crazy idea why would you do that right so if you use any relativity there are a few ways of doing it you can use uh, my tool batch guru that you can automatically set up and it'll just generate those fields for you and it'll do it consistently every time you do it the other way to do it relativity has a script that would do it for you as well and for those of you who don't know parent id attach id are the fields that are used by summation and those fields are sometimes required for productions they're really pointless i don't think anyone really uses them but they're they're in a list of specs so people have to do them and the question i got is can you do the same in Excel? So that's what we're gonna to do today. We're going to use Microsoft Excel to try to generate parent ID and attach IDs. Um, I don't have the exact, exact formula in my head right now, so we kind of work through it together. I'll show you my thought process and any kind of important formulas. I'll either put it on the, in the big letters on the screen or put it in the comment section below. This way you don't have to like pause the video and squint and try to figure out what I'm typing. With that in mind, let's get going, enough talking. So I got Excel on my screen. Uh, what we need is like a dat file, right? So we're gonna say ABC001, uh, it's gonna be our Bates number here. So let's uh, drag it down. So that's gonna be that. Let's make a group identifier. So that's going to be one family, that's going to be the next family, another family, and so on. So this would be your either doc ID, back prod, um, starting number, and this is your bag attach or group identifier or with whichever. So let's, um, let's use these fields to generate parent ID and attach IDs. But before we do that, we want to do some supporting fields. And it's mainly because, because of how I like doing things. Um, the other, other quick thing, I'm going to simplify my, my formulas a little bit. I'll break it up into multiple steps. Like you can make it more efficient and make it like really long, complicated formula. But it's not good if you can't remember it and understand it. It's better to have three shorter formulas that you know and understand than one super long one that you're going to forget. So first thing I like to do is I like to specify with the letter Y where new grouping starts. Just makes it a little bit easier for me. So let me do that. We're going to say, um, okay, okay, here's one more cheat we're going to do. Let's insert the row here and we're going to call it back doc and group ID. So this is just going to help us with the formula. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put letter Y where new family starts. If B1 equals B2, well, if they're equal, that means we're going to put nothing. So there's new, no new family starts. But if it, there is, um, if it's else, then we're going to put letter Y. So what we're going to get is uh, indication where new family starts. So bam, like that. So we know this is a new family, this is a new family, this and that. Okay, good. We got that. First thing we're going to do is generate our parent ID. And the way we're going to do it is like so. Right, so parent ID is just going to be this value copied over. So you can do a filter and you can copy it over, but I'm just going to say if C2 equals Y, then we don't want a parent ID. Else, we want B2. And so we're going to fill it all the way down. And so this is going to give us our parent ID column. So that's an easy one, right? So we knew we can do that. However, the challenge becomes is generating uh, child IDs because we need to accumulate this whole range of IDs and put them into one cell. This is where it's going to get tricky. We are still going to use um, if then cell, if then uh, condition but we're going to do it kind of kind of backwards. We're going to go from the bottom up. So let's, let me show you. And again, I'm, I'm going to show you, I'm going to share a final formula with you once I have it. So here's what we're going to do. Okay, so now we're going to have to do our if formula, but 
well, in this case, we took a value and we sort of pushed it down. We're going to take the values from the bottom and push them up. But instead of just moving them up, we're going to accumulate them in the cell. So this is this is a little weird, but sort of stick with me on this. Let's say if uh, we're going to say C33 equals to Y then we want blank we want nothing right because this value is not part of a child id because if we get if we're at the y we don't care about that value however else we want to take our a33 and then we want to combine it with some kind of delimiter probably a comma yeah, comma and we're also going to take a value that is below where we are so it's going to be E34. Okay, so I think this is right. So let's try it. No, this is wrong. Oh, we need to put ampersand. That's what I'm saying. Don't try to read exactly what I'm typing. Okay, so we're going to take this, pull it all the way up, and paste. Okay, so what we get in here is something that looks a little funky, but you'll see how it makes sense. So let's resize this a little bit. Well, it doesn't help. So now we have sort of a running value, we got 32, and then we take the value from the left and we insert it in front and front and front and front and front. And so now these are our child IDs, 27 through 32. So that, um, that does look good. However, we don't want any of these, right? We only need the child IDs, and we also need to move this one up. A few ways you can do it. Um, you could copy, right? Put the cell here and then let's paste it as values. And so there you go. So now we have them on the right cell. Right, so now we move them up one. So now we want to get rid of those. So again, we can use formula. We can do like a filter copy and paste, something like that. I can, I can do a formula saying if um, C2 equals Y, meaning it's a new document, then we want F2, else we want blank. So again, I'm just going to double click here, and it's going to push it all the way down. And now we have our parent ID, oh, I'm sorry, we have our attach IDs, right? And so let's do a quick check. We're going from two, two to six, which is correct because this is one this is going two through six and then seven and so we have our attach id here so that seemed to be right so let's um let's make notes of some of the formulas all right so now we figured out all the columns we need to get rid of any of the extra stuff we don't want uh, before you delete a column you want to copy everything and paste that as values this way uh, you don't have any any cells that rely on other cells. And if you delete the column, you'll break something else down the line. So get rid of these. Rename child ID or IDs. And the fact that commas at the, at the back doesn't matter. New doc, you can get rid of that also. And if I'm going to give this one quick look, um, just in case comments disappear somewhere, so this was for the new doc column, this is for parent ID, and this was our funky column E that would accumulate values together. I'm gonna, like I said, I'll put them in the comments, but in case the comments get disappeared from a video for some reason, so you have that here as well. Anyway, this is how you would do parent ID, child ID in Excel, should you choose to. Um, I would not recommend you doing it this way because this process is not easily repeatable. You have to memorize a lot of stuff, people can forget and so on. Of course, you should go and buy Batch Guru from me so you could have this feature built into Relativity, obviously. But if you're using some other tool that doesn't do this or you just need to do it one off, this is a way to do it. All right. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.